everyone! Welcome back to the after game of Let's Play Super Princess Peach. So this is a little bonus episode I figured I would do since I kind of left the finale episode off with you guys deciding whether or not I should do a bonus episode to show off the extra stuff because once you beat the game the first time, you get to unlock uh, new levels, you can reverse the bosses, etc, uh, etc. Et and I don't believe I had a chance to show off the mini game section for those who are interested. So I'm just going to go into area one here and kind of show off what happens once you beat the game and a little extra stuff. As you can see, all these are not stars anymore. I'm not exactly sure why. I'm not sure if it means you can go back in them. I think it means you can go back in them to get like puzzle pieces and extra musical notes and etc. etc. mini games, I guess. So you can go back if you want 100% the game. Um, as you can see, like the bo you can reverse the boss here, which I'm probably gonna I might show off reversing the boss. And then you got all these little extra levels beyond the boss that you can go into, which I might show off a few of those. But basically, yeah, just gonna show off a few things. Let's go and see what the boss is like and see if it's uh, more challenging and things like that. Of course, we get this mini game to deal with. So, same old, same old. Uh, Perry's just gonna tell us it's uh, P the Piranha again. We've already seen that. Just to quickly show what it looks like, I've already kind of gone through this. It says new stage right there. So instead of it being a toad, it's new stage in which he's hoarding. Usually there's a mini game, but I kind of beat the mini game like off screen, so I think that's why it's not showing up. So same old, same old. Just use your water to use the things there. Other way. Okay. Fill his little thing up. There we go. And then you can just stomp on him. Same old thing. Except it's a lot easier this time around. Well, at least for me anyways, because I've already beaten this guy. So once you get the pattern down, I'm not really sure if he actually is tougher, if he's supposed to be tougher or not. I would think so. That's where I read anyways online somewhere that the boss is supposed to be tougher when you reverse them. Um, so far I'm not finding that's the case. Okay. See... This is going really smoothly, actually. I actually might have this beat pretty soon. I like that. You're gonna do your little float thing. Oh god, oh god, oh god, he's all red! I'm pretty sure that happened in the last battle, though. Fill you with water if we can. Oh, no, that didn't work very well. You can get rid of them with, like, your crying, too. Let's see if we can get on this side of them and get this little like leaf thing to grow. Ow! Get out of my way. Gosh, I tell you, sometimes the controls of this game. Because for me, I have to use like the mouse, which is like the most difficult thing sometimes when you're using between a controller and a mouse to play this game. Ow! Okay, okay, I get it. You're gonna do that little thing. Yes, but you're gonna get rid of those dudes for me. And then we can fill you with wonderful water. Salty water. Almost done this battle already. Just nice. Ah, he keeps pushing me. You gonna do that thing now? Oh, we're right on top of him. See if the water's gonna go in. Nope. Gosh, I hate how it gets all like awkward like that. You kill your own men. You kill your own people. What's wrong with you? Is this gonna fit? Oh, come on. That totally could have fit. That could have fit in his mouth. What's wrong with you? Oh, you're gonna push me to the end again. Come on. We got one more hit on you. Again. Again with the yelling and the whatever. Can you open your mouth now? Thank you. That should be it. Alright, let's do it. Final hit! Yeah! Final smash! Alright, so... Here we have a new stage. New stages, I should say. So you got new stages in area two. Hooray! Hmm, maybe it's just huge Stalus. Huge Stalus already. So now you can see like, the boss's eyes are all like crossed out and stuff. Um, I can exit this for a little bit. I believe... I'm not sure, I think all areas like... It said in area two and unlocked some more stages. This is fine, this is normal. And it's got a few stages beyond this, and then you can reverse this boss. 
But if we go into area three, if I can figure out where area three is. Area three is like back this way. Then I'm not sure if there's extra levels beyond the boss even still. No, there isn't. So yeah, you gotta keep going to basically unlock the extra stages beyond the boss. So since I beat the world one boss all over again, that means it unlocked the area two extra levels that you can, and, you, and you can continue from there on out. I won't be showing all of them because that would be an extremely long bonus episode. I might show like one little extra one in area one. I guess they give you the three extra levels in area one by default to play. Um, and then once you beat obviously this boss, then in area two as we saw, it unlocked those three at the very end here too. So you have more chances to have fun with the game after the game has been beaten, the main story anyway. So let's, look, you know, let's play this little level, see what we get. Oh, geez, hello. Just to kind of make this a little bit of a longer bonus episode than just being a few five minutes. Um, and then we might play one little mini game just to kind of show that off, showcase the game some more. And it's wonderful. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are we gonna die already on the extra levels? Oh, well. Got you guys here. You don't even care. You're just like strolling along, taking a little nice little journey, a little, little stroll. It's like the game's been beaten. You've defeated Bowser. Now we don't have to worry. We're just gonna take a nice little walk. Oh, I'm so happy to be free. God. Come up with the most weirdest stories for these freaking happy, like why they're so happy afterwards. Oh, this dude up here. He's just, you know, he's going crazy. Oh my god, are you serious? Yes, you are serious. And, oh, why did I not see that coming? See, that's the thing. Repetition. Maybe that's why I'm not good at the old retro platform games, because those games are all about repetition. Uh, lately, <laughs> um, a friend of mine, the Dying Dragon, or also known as Cory, um, he's been, well, I don't know, he basically gave this game, Castlevania 1. I wanted to get in the Castlevania series, and Castlevania 1 is just, it's a pain to beat that game, or so I've heard, and I've kind of experienced. I haven't completely beaten it yet, but I think I got to area five, and I got to this place that they usually call like the Hell Hallway, and essentially why they call it that is because you get like these, uh, what do they call it? Um, oh my God, Medusa heads, I believe they're called. It's Medusa heads, which are basically like little flying obstacle things in your way. So you got those things. I want to break that. Uh, so you got those things, and then you got these like armored dudes that are armored axemen or something like that that they're called. I'm not sure exactly the appropriate name. I never figure that out for the enemies. I just say they're armored axemen dudes. They're in the hallway and then you got the flea men or the hunchback dudes which are annoying. Whoa whoa okay pattern here. Pink, blue, pink, red. Oh wait no it's good. Pink, blue, pink, red. What about that one? Oh no it goes blue, pink, blue, pink, red. So blue, pink, blue, pink, red. God. Ow, go away, bat. Go away. I know you're so happy, but come on now. Alright, so... Oh, no, 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 no. Not, not you. Gosh. Okay, so blue... Oh, wait, we gotta hit it first, actually. Hit it with our umbrella. I see, I gotta remember doing this again. Blue. P pink. Wait, pink. Pink. Where's the blue one? Oh my god, I gotta hit this right. Oh, did it not... Did I not work this right? Blue. Okay, now pink. Come on, pink. Oh, so it reset itself, so... Okay, so blue... For some reason it wasn't... I didn't hit the right one by accident. Pink. Give me the blue one again. You get those annoying enemies. Ah, come on. Oh, it's timed. It must be timed or something to that effect too. Because I didn't hit the wrong one. I just... Pink. Pink. Oh, crap. That wasn't pink. See, now I feel like I'm all colorblind and weirdness. Is it going to reset itself? No? Yes? No? No, you're not. Why did you reset? Mm, probably because it was on timer. 
Let's go into the pipe and do this again because I'm failing at this whole color coordination thing. Yeah, so I think I understand the pattern unless it's changed. I hope it hasn't changed. Otherwise, I'm going to be like, no, why'd you change the pattern? Alright, so let's do this again. Let's get the blue. Blue. Pink. Blue. Pink. Last one's red. Yes! Got it that time. Through patience and perseverance. Uh, well, while we're doing this level, which we've already kind of seen before. Well, actually, we haven't. What am I talking about? Jeez. I keep saying, like, I've done this. I haven't done this in a while, but yeah, it's a totally new level, so how could I have done it before unless I've beaten the game? And, well, I guess I did sort of do this level in my first playthrough. Like, I only, like, I didn't venture into the extra stuff too much because I wanted to get on with the Let's Play thing. Whoa. I found extra areas. But yeah, so I just, you know, might as well just rant on about what I've been doing today. Well, I got my flu shot, and, um, which isn't too bad. I don't mind the flu shots too much. I mean, I'm not, like, a big fan of needles and all that jazz. Not to mention it's kind of free where I live. I live in Canada, free healthcare. Yay! So it's, uh, it's free for me to go to my family doctor and get a flu shot and all that jazz. Um, I don't know, maybe it's free in other places too. I'm not entirely sure. Um, whoever has free healthcare. Yay! Boxes! Uh, and I also ended up getting my blood drawn. I figured uh, might as well get my blood work checked and make sure everything's fine because um, my mom had to get her blood work done because they're thinking that my mom might actually have uh, diabetes since it actually runs in my family or at least my mom's side. My uncle actually has type 1 diabetes so and she was like hey since I'm getting my blood drawn and maybe like you know suffering my misery too because god I haven't had my blood drawn. She says I had it done when I was a kid. I don't remember. So anyways she hasn't had it done since 1996 for goodness sakes. So, anyways, I did have my blood drawn, essentially, so that way I could check my blood to see whether or not- Oh my god, I fell. <laughs> that was dumb. See whether or not I would have, possibly, diabetes and make sure that I'm in good health. I don't seem to have any symptoms of it, but she went to go get her eyes checked, and that I- <sighs> Again. <laughs> and the eye doctor basically said, hey, you might- since you have, um, diabetes that runs in your family, since your brother has it, that's pretty close, the family there, um, you should go get your eyes checked just because, or not your eyes checked, jeez, your blood checked because diabetes has something to do with like eyesight and they feared that maybe that might be causing why she's not seeing as well as she used to or why her prescription has to be changed so severely. So, there you go, I just made a short story into a very long story and a very long rant. And I'm being chased by chomps, really big chomps. Ah, whoa, okay, let's burn the bridge. Oh, I'm assuming like you would have to also unlock the, <laughs> assuming, obviously, duh, unlock the bonus stuff in order to 100% the game anyways, because you got puzzle pieces and other things in the bonus levels to get. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How, what is over there? Whoa, the end. The end is over there. That's what it is. Fall. Okay, for goodness sakes. Yay, we got one turn up, one coin for a turn up. That's so sad. That's just PG! God. So that was my long, long story, and there we go. We got. I don't know why that's a star. Maybe it's because we got the only bonus thing that was in there. That. Yeah, because there's no toad, so I'm assuming it means if you get the bo extra bonus stuff for each of the bonus levels, and then we need to go back in here and get all the bonus stuff for each. Oh, uh, every one of these, I'm assuming it would turn to a star as well. Okay, so we're gonna get out of here, and I just showed you one of the bonus little things you can do. Like I said, you can unlock all these by rebeating the bosses, which are supposedly supposed to be tougher. I'm not finding it so far, but that was just World 1's boss. So let's go into the little menu thing here, and we got our glossary, minigame puzzles, music room. So I'll might as well show off a few of these. Let's go into the minigame room. Um. Blow into the mic. Ugh, not doing that. That'd be way too complicated for me to do at this point. Use the house to carry tote? No. Knock the targets to the sky. So let's do this one. Uh, level 1. You got different levels. That's why I'm saying you would have to beat all the mini games and all the different levels in order to 100% this game. It's ridiculous. Read the rules on the top screen. Your style is not the targets. Seems simple. Let's start it. Yay! Okay, so I'm assuming we're using our stylus to knock. Oh. Boom! Look at that, we're shooting things out of the sky. 
And I'm just doing this, like I said, just- oh, that's minus points, oops. Oh, I don't think hitting the bomb would be a good idea. No, you got other stuff in the way. Hit these dudes, which are like the points. God. Not doing too bad, I guess, except for the fact that I end up going after the ones that are like the minus points. And of course they're gonna go in like circles and be faster and different patterns. Like I said, the bombs, I would not- oh, Bowser! Bowser's like 10 points, get back here Bowser! Oh, of course we're running out of time. I don't really care if we're doing well at this or not because it's like I said to show you- I wanna get the Bowser I did! Ha ha ha! This is actually kind of fun. The little mini games are just, you know, little something extra to the game. You know, it's a DS game and all that stuff, jazz, so why not? You say, yay! Time's up! Oh, we're all crying because we failed. I'm assuming that we didn't even get to the <laughs> next level. I'm assuming you had to do so well and then you can get on the next level. So that was that mini game. I'll just, like I said, I'm not gonna show off every one. You got like your other ones. And as you unlock more mini games, more of them will show up here. So, and I didn't unlock very many because I wasn't gonna go my way to find them. So there's the mini game area. Um, the glossary. Oh, I guess it'll just tell you what each thing it enemy is. You got your Mad Goomba, Sad Goomba, Parrot Goomba. Oh, it, all the different varieties of them. Oh god. I want to find that particular boo. Like that, that dude. Where is he? Where is he? He's called Mad Boo. There we- Mad Big Boo. Oh my god, look at that thing. Mad Big Boo. That's just- that's just freaky. Got dry bones, but yeah. That- that- it's not shy anymore. It's angry and enormous. Oh. I think they have a small version of that too. Torpedo Ted. Yes, that's the one I kept getting confused. Torpedo Ted. And gold Torpedo Ted. Bullet Bill. Bonsai Bill. Cannons. Yeah. See, you know, blah blah blah. Apparently I haven't seen all the enemies because you get question marks next to something. So I'm assuming you have to unlock all of this in order to get 100% too. Puzzles. Little puzzle things I'm guessing you could do. Or you would have to get all the puzzle pieces. You don't have all the puzzle pieces, get the other pieces of the shop or out of it. Okay, so yeah, to unlock little, maybe pictures? Who knows, maybe bonus stuff to the game. I'm not entirely sure. If you guys know, you can let me know in the comments below. But like I said, I haven't gone too much into this music room. Um, a lot of stuff I just didn't bother unlocking. Ladia God, I can't pronounce this. Pronounce it. Uh, Ladia Plains. Who's Wood 2? So you can just kind of click on it and, you know, it'll play it, I'm assuming. Press B to stop the performance. I didn't even sing it. Oh, yes. Okay, I had to press, like, the button twice. <laughs> I don't know if Peach is singing and, like, you got freaking Toadsworth there jamming on the guitar, like, when it's not even needed for this song. I find that's hilarious. Let's listen to Who's Wood. Fury Volcano. Oh, I like that one. That one's nice. Tree Command. Oh god, that one gives me shivers. Flame Glacier. Ugh. Giddy Sky. I think that's- oh, we got one more here. Peach Voice. <laughs> Peach Voice! Nintendo! <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, so I think that's all the ones I have unlocked. The rest of them are all like, you know, question marks because I don't have them unlocked. So, I think- oh, and bonus. What's the bonus stuff? Perry's Dream. Oh. Bonus things. I'm guessing that means if you want to replay the dreams and stuff. So, yeah, that's gonna be it, I think, for all the extra stuff. Like I said, this is just to show off the Perry Dream cutscenes. So, that's it probably for this bonus episode and for what I have to show you guys from the game. Thank you so much for watching this Let's Play and the bonus episode if you have watched it. And hopefully this has helped you guys maybe get interested in this game. Um, pick it up yourselves, um, you know, play it, try it out. Um, I'm hoping that they make a sequel for this game because <laughs> I think it's I think it's kind of fun and I think that they should do more in regards with Peach having her own game, having her own story, adventure and stuff. Actually make her not just the damsel in distress all the time. But yeah, so that's my two cents. So thank you guys once again for watching and until I guess Metro of the M, which I am going to have up eventually. Thanks for watching this Let's Play! So, take care guys! Goodbye!